Welcome to the Empire Nurse Podcast. This is new money, about to be old money, Nicole. And we're just excited today to have you here. Today, we're actually going to be talking about uh, how to use digital assets as collateral. You're probably like, really? I didn't even know that was a thing. Well, it actually is. So, of course, we know right now, if you are trying to secure a personal loan, today, you would use cash in a savings account or you could use cash in a certificate of deposit. A uh, car, you can actually put your car up as collateral, boat, home, stocks, bonds, and all that is happening today. However, one thing that I love about our podcast in particular, we're already talking about the future, and the future is actually now. So today is a very cool topic to talk about. And this is actually going to probably inspire you on why you need to start investing in crypto assets today. So let's get started. So Hazel Tree actually had a webinar on June the 13th, and I was able to catch the recap. I wasn't able to catch it on the day. Uh, I had to look at the replay or playback a few days later, but it was phenomenal. So definitely go to hazeltree.com, check out their website. It was a very informative podcast. So I'm just going to sum- summarize or at least highlight some uh, great points that they made in this particular Uh, podcast today. Okay. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please definitely do so share, like our channel, uh, submit it to your friends, you know, because everybody is going to be using digital assets, whether they believe they need to or not. (laughs) And so today, I think you're going to be excited uh, about how you can start to use these cryptocurrencies as collateral to be able to purchase, you know, various items uh, that you may need in the future. So the purpose, use cryptocurrency as collateral. And cryptocurrency, I'm sure you all already know what that is, but that's like your Bitcoin, your XRP, Solana, okay? <clears throat> so Broad Ridge, and, and of course I'm talking in the context of Hazel Tree. They use this company to move their assets, okay? Collateral management. This can be done on private blockchains, not just public and that's really good because we, when we think of blockchains, we always think about a public, right? But with a lot of corporations out there, you know, they're private corporations, okay? So they don't want everything public. They do have their clients and they want to keep everything private. And I just, I'm here to let you know that that is an option. So this is really phenomenal here. Let's talk about the collateral parties and the process. Now, I have heard about uh, this concept uh, last year, and I thought that was an interesting concept that we can start to use our crypto as collateral. And I like that because, you know, for a lot of us, we are acquiring or purchasing, investing in these assets. And as you know, over time, they will accumulate in value. So the first piece of the puzzle is that you must have a pledger or borrower. Then you have a secure party or the lender. In this example, they use BitCo, so check their uh, website out there. And BitCo serves as the custodian or collateral agent. Now, all this must be governed by a control agreement. Then it's going to point to a particular account. The pledger onboards to the custodian. The assets stay in the pledger's account. Bilateral approvals are needed to move funds off the platform, you know, for business as usual activity or bridge and contract could allow for assets to be moved unilaterally, unilaterally. So it just depends on, you know, what the activity is. So the, going back to the account control agreements, that would include either a trading agreement or options agreement. I like this right here, SSI, because I definitely was thinking something else with that. But it's service, excuse, excuse me, it's secret service integration. And this is for whitelisted addresses. And I just put the definition here just in case you didn't know what that was. Uh, kind of like me there because I had a different definition for the SSI. But a whitelist or allow list is a list or register of entities that are being provided a particular privilege, service, mobility, access, or recognition. Entities on the list will be accepted, approved, and are recognized. So again, uh, these corporations would have their own whitelisted addresses that would receive uh, access, right, uh, or privileges uh, that can be allowed on this platform. Let's talk about on-chain and, and off-chain. That should be off-chain there. Let's see. <laughs> 
There we go. We'll do that in real time there. But on chain, so this is pretty cool. So if anyone uh, like me who may use Coinbase, this is kind of how I uh, can imagine the process being where there may be two different addresses and you can send funds to each other, okay? Uh, or off chain, uh, in this example that they used was for ledger movements. Maybe you want to move it off the platform. And there are cons and pros to doing both, which we won't highlight in today's session, but definitely um, research that on your own. So this is another one that I had to look up as well. They did mention the ISDA. Uh, and that stands for International Swaps and Derivatives Association. Now, this is not a regulatory body, okay? This is not a regulatory body. So it's not like, you know, something like FINRA or anything that they have to do everything by the book, right? However, like Hazel Tree says, they do take what ISDA says into consideration because this is a very well-respected association. Plus, you definitely want to, you know, keep... Uh, in the parameters of what the industry is doing. On a bilateral level, allows more flexibility. You know, they want to balance access and safety. That's very important. We will talk about cybersecurity in another session, but, you know, balancing access to the funds, but then making sure it's safe is very important. So one question was about, you know, who are the early adopters? Are they here or, you know, uh, what would be the benefit for them? So tokenized assets on repo. I like how they say that, right? So basically what that is, is just repo tokenization. The process that I just explained to you, that's another word for what I just described. I did put learn more here. I will put that link in the description so you can take a look at that PDF. But early adoption has already started. Uh, as they mentioned, it's already here. You know, so I, I love when people keep saying the future, the future, future. No, no, the future is now. It's already happening. So if you're still, you know, stuck trying to do things the old way, uh, you need to, like, you know, get rid of that mindset, please. <laughs> so that way you can um, be successful in this new way because it is coming, you know, whether you agree with it or not, whether you uh, invest in it or not, whether you change your thinking and move a different di direction or not, they are full steam ahead. And then, of course, now they have digital hedge funds, not just the physical ones, uh, you know, companies that we have out here. So everybody's moving to digital, 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 and you should be too. So some of the risk for what I mentioned above includes regulations. Uh, I personally think we're in the regulatory phase just worldwide. Uh, that's why I know we're getting to a close very soon, uh, definitely by the end of 2025, for sure, with everything. But... Um, every country has to make sure that they're in guidelines with the regulations for their particular country. And that's what's happening right now. So since every country doesn't have everything in stone, you know, there are a lot of gray areas that a lot of corporations are having to maneuver through. Uh, but that's, you know, some of the risk right now, because maybe since nothing was in writing, you may go a certain way with your company. And then, you know, months later or years later, there's a regulatory piece that now you must comply with. So there's gonna be a lot of changes with that that you must do internally. Also, they put external events. As you have seen, <laughs> these last four months have been, uh, last four months, these last four years have been uh, very volatile and there's always something new. Seems like every day now, but at least every week, every month, that's just coming out the blue. So companies are having to navigate uh, this particular framework as well. Operational risk. So Again, like I kind of mentioned above, you know, you want to balance access and safety. One of those safety uh, items would be making sure you send to the correct address. You don't want to send to the incorrect address. You know, we've already heard about so many problems when it comes to uh, things like um, Zelle or Cash App where people are sending to the incorrect, you know, uh, address, right? Or in that case, I guess it would be a phone number. Right. But the same thing can happen, too, uh, with any type of crypto uh, exchange platform. And the same could happen here as well. So we don't want that to happen. And so especially uh, they did mention that, you know, they have uh, a lot of transactions. I think it was about three thousand a month <laughs> and, that, and they're just getting started. So I know it's just going to be in the hundreds of thousands one day. So um, that's why uh, they're very particular about making sure they get it correct now. Because as this thing just starts to skyrocket and more and more people understand how you can start to use 
crypto or digital assets. I love digital assets uh, even more because sometimes when you say the word crypto, people think, oh, I can just go buy a coffee with it or, and you can, you can. However, once you understand it's digital assets, then you know that uh, it can appreciate in value. So you may want to, you know, hold on to it a little bit longer to allow for that appreciation. Uh, so the next thing is Hazel Tree uh, protects your assets and are available. I really love this piece right here. So this is a great company. Again, check them out. Uh, they're available seven days, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, eight hours a day. And they have four locations. So they're spread all throughout the world. And so I love the fact that they operate on a 24-hour basis. This is where we're headed, everyone. If you have a company that's only operating, you know, eight hours uh, a day or the clients cannot get in touch with them, uh, you know, after hours or anything like that, that's going to probably hold you back because many companies now are adjusting their customer service uh, piece to it, still keep keeping that human element. I know that we are moving to a society that's going to be filled with AI. However, and they may have AI assisting them you know, with managing their customer service, but they still want to keep it personal, right? Because it's about those personal connections uh, and contacts, right? Uh, that's going to separate you apart from your competitors. So really excited to bring you this piece. I know it was very quick today, but this is great information, guys, because I, I look, you know, I love to look down the road. And what I see right now is such a huge opportunity for those who choose to take it. There are so many cryptos out there. Um, and I don't even want to say so many cryptos. <laughs> if you've been watching my channel for a while, I could care less about the 2.52 million cryptocurrencies out there. Many of those will go to zero once regulation uh, is finalized. So if you've been watching for a while, you already know the handful of crypto that we definitely um, support. And those are most of them are under a dollar right now. They will not be like this for too long. So I highly recommend, and this is not financial advice, but I'm just suggesting that this may be a great time for you to do more research on your own to make the best decision for right for you. But as you can see here, we have wonderful companies here. Some of these companies have uh, 500 million on up with assets under management. So this is nothing shabby, okay? Uh, a lot of companies in this space are really looking towards um, being able to be custodians of your digital assets. There are so many jobs that haven't even been created yet that I'm actually learning about right now that is coming very, very soon. As soon as all the regulatory framework, framework is in place globally, <laughs> wow, you're going to see a whole new world. So go ahead and get uh, started and get involved and do your research now so you can be ahead of the game very, very soon. All right, thanks so much for joining us. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow our channel, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.